Okay, come to seated. So you're either gonna kneel like so with a block to support the pelvis or sit up on a block with the legs crossed. But wherever you sit, try and get it so that the pelvis is above the hips, the, the knees. And it'll be just a little bit easier then to, to lengthen the spine. And then once you're seated, see if you can sit back enough that you feel your sit bones actually plug into the floor. It will feel as though probably that you're leaning back more than you need to. And also most likely your lower belly will, will start to engage. And then what I would like you guys to do this morning is just let your shoulders relax. Like notice if they're quite high up around your ears or they're just holding a little bit of weight this morning. So let the shoulders relax. And see if you can just tease the crown of the head up slightly just to feel a little bit of length through the spine. So the deal with back bends is they can often have this really like intense up regulating energy. And a lot of the back bends in forest yoga actually aren't that at all. They're, they're really therapeutic. And I'm really guilty of forgetting that forest yoga is a healing practice. It's, it's medicine for the body. And sometimes it can become just this really intense physical practice. So with that in mind, I invite you guys this morning just to feel for an area of your body that needs a healing energy today. So it might be an area of your body that's had an injury or it's a recurring tweaky area that always tends to flare up first. It might be an area of your body that you just don't like or you can't connect to. It might be an area of your body that you know you hold emotional pain or hurt. And rather than going looking and trying to dig and find this place, just notice when you breathe what area keeps presenting itself. Like where does your awareness keep returning to? when you feel into this intent of a healing place. Okay, and then once you have your, your area, place one or both your hands on that spot. We'll take five Brahmari breaths into that place. So remember with Brahmari, we're buzzing with the tone that touches into that place. So for example, if we're really high up towards the crown of the head, the pitch is really, really high pitched. If we're lower in the pelvis, it's almost like a really bassy um, buzz. So once you've got your hands on your area, let's take a breath in through the nose together. We'll do an exhale out through the mouth together. And then do five primary breaths into your place. Mm
once you've completed the fifth, just raise your hands, rest on the thighs or the knees. Maybe there is a different sensation in that place already, maybe not, doesn't matter. But make the intent today just really, really simple. It's about bringing a connection into this place and using the medicine of the pauses to actually bring in whatever it is that area needs to feel healing. Open your eyes. Come off your block if you're on one. Let's get started actually in Baddha today. So the soles of the feet are together, heels a little bit away from the groin. Feel for the sit bones plugging down and then inhale the right arm straight up. Take the right arm out to the right and then exhale left arm over. So you don't need to go too deep, we're just introducing this to the body. Feel in this pose like we've got a, a real habit of going in so deep that we miss out on the first initial bits of tension. So try and stay a little bit more upright today. And then allow the right ear to rest down towards the shoulder. And just begin with a couple of cleansing breaths like through the right and left side of the ribs. Maybe washing into the lower part of the belly and the pelvis. And then use that left arm to bring the body up. Come all the way up on the inhale. And then over to the other side on the exhale, so left hand goes down, right arm comes over. And again, we're just a little bit in the side bend, nothing massive. Feel for this sense of lifting the chest up, like away from the, the navel center. And then once the spine feels as though it's actually lifted, let go through the right side of the neck. Slide the left shoulder away from the ear like you want to ease your whole left shoulder blade down your back. Keep letting the neck go. And then use that right arm to bring the body up again. Keep the neck as relaxed as you can. Maybe even use the left hand to help the head up. And then set up for seated side bend so the left leg goes out and the right foot in. You'll inhale up through the left arm, get a lot of space through the left ribs and then hand comes inside or outside the leg. And come into chest opener. So we want to diagonal the right arm with the left. There's a slight bend in the right elbow but remember the ribs don't move here. So we're going to pull the front ribs in a little bit towards the chest, keep letting go through the neck and then when you breathe out, just move the right arm back. Like there's a wall behind that you want to press the back of your right hand into. Keep letting go through those sticky layers of tension, particularly through inner right ear, the right side of the neck, and then into the upper right side of the chest there. And then from there, use the right arm, bring the body up and then turn your torso towards your left leg. We're going to inhale, lift up through the chest and then just feel for a little bit of a forward fold. So we're not going into the full, full forward fold. We do want to feel like the spine is really long and active here. The chin is tucked. And then feeling the breath move in between the, the lower back bones. And then 
and come all the way up on the inhale. Change sides, take the right leg out, left leg in on the exhale. So just keep the breath moving even in the transition. The right hand goes inside or out and the left arm into chest opener. So same thing. The chest rolls in a little bit here, keeping the ribs drawn in towards the spine. The neck is completely relaxed. And then we inhale in through the left ear, left side of the neck, left upper chest. And we exhale to guide the left arm back again like this, that wall, just to press the back of the hand into. Keep letting the neck go. Notice even in those first few minutes how there's an internal spaciousness. Like the breath is already able to move a little bit freer. And using the left hand, we come up on the inhale, turn to face the right leg, the chest lifts, and we go forward on the exhale. So again, the chin is tucked under, but the spine we want to keep it as super long. So there's no rounding through the upper back. We know that when we breathe, that breath can travel through the spine. And then we come on up on the inhale, easy, easy. Lay down for abs on the exhale. Have, um, if you need to pad your back, have a little blanket there. You can always work with the feet down. I'm gonna work with feet up today. So starting with elbow to knee, feet are active, lower back stays pressed into the mat. If you feel it in your lower back, really consider working with the feet down and then hands at the base of the skull. So we go inhale to lift the head and shoulders right up. Hold the breath, press the top rim of the sacrum down, exhale, elbows to left knee, take the right leg forward, press, press, and pull the belly in. We come back to center on the inhale, it's super controlled, so really slow moving. Press the lower back down as you exhale, elbows to the right knee, extend the left leg forward, press, press, and then pull the belly in. Inhale back to the midline, the head stays up. Hold the breath, make sure the feet are active. Press down through the lower back. Exhale, elbows to the left knee again, extend the right leg forward, toes spread, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Hold the breath, keep pressing the lower back down, making sure the navel stays contracted. Exhale, elbows to the right knee, extend the left leg forward, press, press, keep pulling belly down. Inhale back to center, keep controlled, barely any rolling around in the upper body. Press the lower back down, exhale elbows to the left knee, extend the right leg forward, press press as you pull belly in. Inhale back to center, head stays up, hold the breath. Press the top rim of the sacrum down and relax the jaw. Exhale elbows to the right knee, extend the left leg forward, press press, keep pulling low belly down. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Again, hold the breath. Press the top rim of the sacrum down, a little curl of the tailbone, and get the lower belly active as you exhale, elbows to the left knee, extend the right leg forward, press, press. Keep pulling belly in. Inhale back to center, head stays up. So you can lift the shoulders a little higher, elbows come in. Lower back presses, exhale, elbows to the right knee, extend the left leg forward, press, press, pull belly in. Inhale back to center. Exhale, head down, feet down. Take a full, clear breath into your belly. And move the energy there you've created directly into your, your healing place. Let it wash through whatever it needs to, to, to bring awareness into that area. A 
Alrighty, take your roll or your block. Roll is in between the thighs, feet are flat. Set up for bridge with the rolls. The arms are by the side, chin is tucked, neck is long. Little squeeze of the roll as you inhale and the pelvis comes up on the exhale. So again, you don't need to go to the maximum height, like your personal best height ever. You can come down a little bit here. And the idea is that this pause is about feeling, firstly, that there's a connection through the legs. So you're able to stand on your own two feet. But also that there's space through the core, so from the pelvis all the way up to the crown of the head. So feel for a little tilt of the pelvis. Pubic bone presses skyward and you'll feel the butt start to work but also feel for a lift through the chest so that the whole front line of the body there then is, is becoming more spacious. And then for the next few breaths, work in a way that you're washing your breath into the area you're working with. If it's a place where you, you don't yet have feeling, then see in your mind's eye your breath move there. And try and reach into the place closest to the area where you can feel. To come out, keep a squeeze of the roll and come down so slow, so you lower the upper back, keep tilting the pelvis up, lower the mid back, keep tilting, 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 and then the lower back down. Take the roll out, set up for straddle lifting through. So remember with straddle lifting through, there's an option to do this with your legs on the wall can also do it with knees bent so it's more of a frog lifting through. And fingers interlaced again at the base of the skull. Keep the elbows up and spread out through the toes so the active nature of the practice, particularly through the feet, helps to keep the lines of energy through the legs. So straddle the legs open, either frog or straight legs. And then inhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Exhale, curl pubic bone to navel. Keep reaching out through the inner thighs, feet active. Pull belly down. Relax the pelvis completely. Take an inhale. Exhale, curl pubic bone up. Send your elbows up and keep pulling the lower belly down. Relax the pelvis, take a huge breath down into the very bottom of the pelvis. As you exhale, curl the pubic bone up and then feel a little bit of a reach through the inner ankles. The knees stay soft. Relax the pelvis, lift the head a little bit higher. Take an inhale. Exhale, curl pubic bone to navel, reach, reach, reach through inner thighs. Keep reaching elbows skyward and pull belly down. Relax the pelvis, take an inhale, lower the shoulders an inch. Exhale, curl pubic bone to navel, reach, reach, reach through inner thighs. Feet active, pull belly in. Relax the pelvis, lift the head and shoulders higher. Inhale here. Exhale, curl, pubic bone to navel, soft through the knees, both inner thighs and inner calves active. Pull low belly down. Relax the pelvis completely, lift the head and shoulders higher. Take an inhale here. Exhale, curl, pubic bone to navel, reach, reach through inner thighs, keep lifting head, chest skyward. Keep pulling low belly down. 
Inhale, the head comes down. Help the legs together as you exhale. Roll over onto one side and grab your block. Set up for bridge over a block. So you inhale, lift the pelvis up. Pop the block just at the base of the sacrum there, the highest height you can manage today. And just make sure that the block is flush on the floor so you're steady and supported. Little tilt of the pelvis skywards, keep the butt engaged and then toe heel the right foot into the midline. Inhale the left leg straight up. So as you're pressing down through the right foot to keep stability in the base of the body, you can also feel then for reaching up through the left heel and maybe even drawing that left leg in towards the chest a little bit. But keep an eye on the, the bottom foot, the foot that's on the floor. Now from there you have two options. You can take the left ankle over the right thigh, use the left hand to traction the left thigh away from the pelvis or half virasana. So the top of the left foot is on the floor, the left knee is bent there. Feel again for this sense of the upper back lifting away from the floor. The chin stays tucked under. And then maybe if you can place your hand on your area, if you can't reach, just take one breath into that place. It's the repeti repetition of bringing our awareness to that place over and over. Release, place the left foot flat, make sure that it's in line with left sit bone and then inhale the right leg straight up. Same thing, you push up through the right heel, push down through the left heel and then maybe the leg comes in towards the chest, maybe not. Just feel for what's there. And from there, the ankle over the thigh, or half virasana. Either way, be very aware of the, the left foot working to press and support so that the weight's not dumping into the lower back there. And the chest lifts up towards the chin, front of the body begins to open. And then release, plant both feet flat, lift the pelvis up, keep it lifted, move the block to the side, and then come down with control again. So your upper, keep pressing through the heels, your mid, keep pressing through the heels, and the lower, all the way down. Roll over onto one side, this time come up onto your hands and knees, and um, we'll set up for turbo dog. So hands are a little bit, a um, little bit ahead of the shoulders. Middle finger faces forward. Little bend in the elbows there, and the neck is relaxed. Take a deep feeling breath into the upper body. Elbows squeeze into the midline. Keep the knees down if it's that kind of day. If you want more, lift the knees, straighten the legs. This is about teaching the, the upper body to become stronger. So the focus on the elbow bending is the, the most important part. Okay, take one more strong, full, thorough breath in there. Stay for the complete exhale wherever you are. And then lower the knees down. Measure the upper arms and set up for dolphin palms up. 
So the back of the hands are on the floor. Remember with dolphin palms up, the aim is to get the, the pinky finger and the thumb as far apart from each other as possible. Okay. You'll know once you lift your knees if it's too intense on the shoulders. In that case, put the knees down and just continue to work the upper body strength. Take a big breath into the back, upper back, mid back. Press down through the arms, tuck the toes. Exhale, lift the knees if you're going there. If not, just feel for the pressing down of the forearms and the activation of the armpits, the upper back and the chest. Three breaths here as you feel for the exhale moving out through the arms and the legs. And the inhale moving in through the side ribs and the back of the body. So really maximize your breath here. Release. Put the knees down. Coming up to standing. The top of the mat, feet together or apart. We'll move through quite a few rounds of suns. Um, if it's moving too quickly, go at your own pace as always. And then as you inhale, take your arms up, fingers spread nice and wide. Fold forward as you exhale at the back of the head, go. We take the left leg back, knee down for lunge. Inhale, arms up. Plant the palms, step to plank and then modify. Put the knees down, lower all the way down. Come to cobra, inhale. So it's a really gentle cobra. The heart moves forward, the elbows move back. Lower the chest, hands come back and press to down dog on the exhale. The left foot steps, the back knee down for lunge, inhale, arms up. Plant the palms, step forward and fold as you exhale, let the back of the head go again. Press through the legs, come all the way up on the inhale. And then hands rest easy at heart on exhale. We go again, inhale, arms up. Exhale to fold forward, head is relaxed. Step the right foot back for a lunge. Inhale, arms up, fingers spread. Plank. Modify chaturanga knees. Go down, belly in, lower all the way. Come to cobra. Inhale the heart forward, the elbows in. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Right foot for lunge, inhale, come all the way up. Plant the palms, step forward, fold on the exhale, head is relaxed. And come all the way up on the inhale, press through the legs, fingers spread. Hands to heart on the exhale. So use this now as a way of like moving meditation to keep moving closer to your area. So you inhale the arms up, breathing probably into your spot as you fall forward on the exhale, let the head go. Take the left leg back knee down for lunge, inhale, opening into your spot where you can. Plank, modify on the exhale. Cobra is an inhale, maybe a little bit higher if there's room. And then down dog on the exhale. Left leg for lunge, inhale, big breath. Stent forward, plant the palms and fold on the exhale. Come on up, inhale, big breath. Hands to heart on exhale. Inhale, arms reach. Fold, exhale. Right leg for lunge, inhale, big breath. Plank, modify as you exhale. 
Cobra is an inhale, thighs engage. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Right leg for lunge, inhale, big breath. Forward fold, neck relaxed on the exhale. And press through the legs in our arches, lift to come up on the inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. One more round, inhale, arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Left leg for lunge, inhale, big breath. Plank, modify as you exhale. Cobra, heart shines forward, thighs reach back. Down dog, exhale. Left foot lunge, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up on the inhale, palms spread. Hands to heart, exhale. Last side, inhale, arms reach, feel the ribs lengthen, scale up. Forward fold, exhale. Right leg for lunge, inhale, big breath. Plank and modify. Knees go down over the exhale. Cobra is an inhale. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Right foot for lunge, inhale. Forward fold, completely exhale. Get all of the breath out. Come all the way up, inhale. Hands to hard as you exhale. Chair, inhale, arms reach. Forward fold, exhale, let the head go. Take a halfway lift, inhale, keep the chin tucked. Plank, lower all the way as you exhale. The knees can always go down. Come into cobra, inhale, heart forward, elbows in. Press the down dog on the exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale, step the left foot forward. Take the arms straight up on the inhale. Hold the breath, go back only as far as your held breath allows and then let the right hand rest as you exhale. So just like we did at the start, it's that sense of feeling we're not going so deep in the side bend but more that there's a lifting up through the spine to create space from the pelvis all the way up to the crown of the head. And the more space that we can create internally, the more ease that the energy can move to our area. Extended warrior variation, bring the left forearm to the left thigh. Take the right arm behind for a half bind. Grab your leggings or your thigh, whatever you got there. Let go through the neck. And as you breathe in, just a little bit of activation through the left shoulder, so try not to jolt. And then breathing out, keep the ribs pulled in, just roll the right shoulder head back. Feel there's a little bit more relief there through the upper right side chest. Up through the right side of the neck and hopefully into inner right ear. Release for lounge lunge. Take the right hand down, right knee down. Left arm comes outside of the left leg. 
So big breath in to lift through the chest and then again we're just easing the right ribs down towards the right arm. There's no jolt in, there's no strain. Keep hugging the left knee in towards the chest. And then the head can relax anywhere really. Notice what this pose does for your healing place. Maybe there's a little bit of contraction now where it's harder to get breath into your place. When you release, maybe then that's the time when you can take a breath there. Release, step to plank, come all the way down and grab your roll. The roll's on the soft tissue of your belly. Hands are underneath the shoulders. You can have the toes tucked or not and as you inhale, push your belly out, coming up into cobra over the roll. Okay, the legs are active, the belly now relaxes, so we're allowing a little bit more of the roll to come into the belly. And just a few breaths here, like even if where the roll is is not your healing place, just notice what this pose does for your area, like notice maybe there's more space to breathe into your spot. Take one more feeling breath as you balloon the belly out into the roll. And then exhale to let the roll come in. And then lower all the way down. Remove the roll. And press to downward facing dog. Down dog. Reverse warrior, step the right foot forward. Doing a warrior two position in the legs. Inhale, both arms straight up. Hold the breath, go back only as far as the breath allows on its held breath. And then the left hand down, same thing. We're not going for maximum depth. Wanna feel as though the legs can support the spine. So feet active, toes spread. And then see if you can connect to the quality of breath that your area needs. Like maybe today it needs a really intense, like vigorous breath. Or maybe it just needs gentle. Extended warrior variation, right forearm, right thigh, left arm behind. Let go through the neck. You feel this sense of pressing down through the right arm to lift up. Left shoulder head rolls back and back of the neck relax. Feel for the balance of strength through the legs and the lower part of the body. And then feel for the let go through the spine and the jaw. Release for lounge lunge. Put the left hand forward, left knee down. Right arm hugs the knee in. Take an inhale, lift a little through the chest and then hang the ribs. This is one of the most perfect pauses to just integrate the intensity. It's not as intense. Time just to gather the breath.
and release. Press back straight into down dog only. Eagle Warrior One. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Remember with Warrior One, if the back foot flat hurts your back, you can pop the back heel up. Take the arms out on the inhale, and as you exhale, take the left arm under the right. If the bind doesn't work, forearms press up and And then feel that you lift up a little bit more. better yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to just modify the bind because <laughs> it's my mic so you guys bind as you can and I'm just gonna keep my arms pressing together so as you inhale wash your breath through the upper back press the arms together send the elbows forward and then lift them all the way up as high as you can letting the eyes jaw brain relax and then release. Plant the back knee down, top of the back foot flat for arrow lunge. So, you have the option to stay on the fingertips here with the back knee lifted. If that's too intense for you, put a roll underneath the thigh and let that be the support. Remember that we've got the torn nails pressing into the floor. And then obviously there's an option to go a little bit higher. You can have your hands on your knee or you take your arms straight up. For me, hands on the floor day to day. Okay, wherever you're at, get a sense of the back leg completely straight. So there's no sickling at the ankle joint. And then feel for lifting the chest no matter what version you're in. So the heart moves forward. Take one full breath in this place here. Feeling both legs working, the jaw not working. And then release, back knee down. Come into twisting lunge. So you're in a high lunge. Left hand is on the left leg. Inhale the right arm straight up. And then as you exhale, twist. So you've got a little fist with the right hand. Left hand goes on top here. Inhale, move the crown of the head forward. Keep the legs exactly as they are as you start to twist the chest towards the fist. And use this again as an opportunity to feel for a little bit of rinsing through your area. Come all the way down as you exhale and then take your roll and your block. The block is between your ankles on the medium width and the roll of course is underneath your belly. And the hands are underneath the shoulders there, keep squeezing the, the block with the legs as you inhale into cobra over the roll with a block. So the roll is under your belly, you're breathing in and out, ideally into your belly. The squeeze of the legs on the block just helps to create a little bit more space in the lower back there. Just make sure the elbows are bent. Okay, 
let it one more feeling breath as the heart moves forward the elbows are in squeezing the block as you lower on the breath out release plant the palms press back down dog exhale Eagle Warrior One, inhale, step the right foot forward. Same thing with the arms, do the variation that works for you. If you're doing the full bind, it's the left arm over the right. Otherwise, forearms pressed together. So same thing here, as you inhale, you feel the upper ribs lift. Squeezing the arms together as you send the elbows forward and up. Notice the quality of your breath now the body's a little bit more open. Maybe your inhales and your exhales can extend a little bit more. And then release, set up for arrow lunge. So your toenails flat, the top of the foot flat. Option to have a roll underneath the left leg there. Hands can stay on the floor if you want to up level, hands on the knee if you want to up level more, arms in the air. But if you're not sure, just take a look behind at the back leg and check that the ankle, knee and hip joint are all in one line. There's no kind of sickling at the ankle joint. And then there's a firm press there through the right heel. The heart moves forward and the leg moves back. Release, put the back knee down, come up into a high lunge. We've got twisting lunge. So right hand on the right thigh, inhale, left arm straight up. And then a little twist as you exhale. Left hand with a fist, the right hand goes on top. Get really steady through your legs here. Feel the shin bones, particularly the front leg. And then as you exhale, Try and get the twist from the navel center. So neck is relaxed completely. to down dog only. Interlock warrior. Inhale, step the left foot forward for warrior two legs. So the, the less intense version is to come back with the left forearm on the thigh. Maybe this time we're adding a chest opener. If you can, you're gonna to start to work into the full bind with the left arm inside the left leg and the right arm behind. The other option is to have the left hand inside of the left foot and the right arm over. So choose your own option. If you're doing the full bind, make sure that the bind is happening at the knee joint rather than the hip joint. And then feel as you exhale, whichever version you're in, that the left ribs rotate skyward. Right? You're rolling your heart up, but the head and the neck Roll down. Release 
and put the back knee down. So you may need to pad the back knee here. Lunge with both hands grabbing the back ankle. So the left foot moves forward a little. Reach and grab the, the ankle with one hand. If your hand doesn't reach, this is where a strap comes in really handy. You can have a strap around that back foot. And then the other hand reaches to grab the ankle too. So remember you've got your ankle, not your foot. The toes of the right foot flex down. As you press the foot into the hand, the chest opens. Keep lifting through the heart. Okay. So the heel moves away from the butt in this one. Straps are a great option if you're working um, with a strap, that's a really good idea. Yeah, one more feeling breath in there to lift, lift through the chest. And then slowly release, take your strap around your back ankle. <laughs> and set up for pigeon. So your left knee is bent in pigeon. You've got a strap around your right ankle. And then you're coming into pigeon, back bend with a strap. So both hands are on the strap there, the elbows are bent. You can have a block underneath the left butt cheek if you need. But the idea here is that we're feeling the upper body, arms, chest, lifting. And the legs are pressing a little bit into the floor, just to feel the left compression in the low back. It's feeling the open legs here. slowly release keep the strap nearby you'll need that again come into plank and then lower all the way down but take your roll again so the roll is underneath your belly and you're going to set up in a sphinx position so the forearms are on the floor I don't mind if you guys have your toes tucked or not here it's a it's a very personal preference you're going to keep your right forearm on the floor. You're going to bend your left knee and reach around, grab the left ankle. So you can grab it from the inside or the outside, doesn't matter which. Now you've got the option to keep the right forearm on the floor or if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can start to lift the right elbow up. So we're in bow over the roll, one arm, one leg. Feel here for a little bit more of an let go in the lower belly. So you're trying not to brace against the roll at all. And then the heart moves forward, it's chest open. And then slowly release, try not to catapult. Bring the left forearm down, bend the right knee and reach and grab the right ankle inside or outside same same you can keep the left forearm on the floor or you can start to lift the left forearm up the heart moves forward the belly is relaxed and the back foot presses into the back hand so you want to feel like there's this traction this opening One more feeling breath into your belly. See if you can press the belly out. And then slowly lower on the exhale. So super slow. So you might take just one breath over the roll there for a moment. Hopefully you guys have not had a huge breakfast. And then tuck the toes. 
move the roll away and come back into downward facing dog. Interlock warrior, step the right foot forward. So you've got your three options. You've got the half bind, the arm over, or the interlock. Might be a different option completely on this side, and that's totally okay. I want you guys to feel again for that union of opposites. We've got the strength and support in the legs which in turn allows for let go through the, the upper body, the jaw and the brain. back knee goes down remember pad extra if you need that so lunge back bend both hands grabbing back ankle we reach with one hand first and then the other if you're feeling like it's really hard it might be that the front foot needs to come further forward remember you can also use a strap here and then we push the leg back and the chest opens Really feeling for that expansion through the front of the chest. Still pressing through the front heel to feel the butt work. And then release the pigeon. Back bend with a strap. There is no graceful way that I know of to get into this, so don't try to make it look pretty. But the front knee will bend into a pigeon, so you can have a block underneath the right butt cheek here to stabilize the pelvis. Again, the upper body, armpits, chest lifting. And then the legs press down into the floor to support the lower back so we're not just dumping the weight. walk your feet to your hands to the top of the mat and fold forward as you exhale grab your roll and come all the way up to standing on the inhale and you're going to put the roll in between your thighs the knees will be slightly bent and we're going to interlock the fingers hands at the base of the skull for brain cradle elbows are in close knees bent roll is squeezing and then using the hands to lift the skull bones away from the neck bones. So we're adding more traction in then through the, the neck and the upper back. It's that area that gets so sticky and tight. And then release, come all the way up. Move your roll away, come down onto your mat. Now you have the option of three things here. So you can take supported bridge, which is bridge over the block, a little bit more of a yin approach. You can take regular bridge, 
with the fingers interlaced maybe today so you're walking the shoulders together and that way you're getting the chest more open because we are going to be here for a little while and then for everyone else it's wheel which I will cue you in with me so you've got supported bridge if it's more of a yin type day and you just needed a rest take it easy you do that bridge is the next one up with the hands clasped or not and then for those of you guys attempting wheel, come with me. So place the hands on the floor flat. If you're in a different pose, we've got up to eight breaths. And then wheelers, you guys will come onto the crown of your head with your elbows in nice and close. From there, you'll take an inhale and press the arms straight. Remember you wanna get your heart as far away from your butt as you can. So think about this being an extension of the spine rather than a bend. And you guys are gonna stay for a couple more breaths. And when you've done, and you've done your few breaths, come down with ease. When you're all the way down, take your roll, put it in between the legs and come onto the side, so you're on your right side, for lounge lizard with a roll. So you've got the right ankle, hip, and hand in one straight line. From there, take an inhale, squeeze the roll. Reach your heels down towards the bottom of the mat. See if you can tuck your tailbone to the roll. And then let your right ribs relax. Just bringing space back again into the lower back. And then keep the roll there, bend the knees and change sides. Come on to the opposite side. Got the left hand out and the legs extend down towards the bottom of the mat there. Toes flex back little squeeze of the roll and the tailbone tucks under. I just want to feel again, let the head relax. We're really using this pose to unwind the lower back, so keep the breath focused. Be aware of where you're moving your breath. slowly slowly release that keep the roll in between your legs and come down onto your back so you can do this with your knees um, bent and the feet flat otherwise we're taking the legs straight up so twisting abs with a roll the fingers interlaced at the base of the skull elbows are up head is down feet are active so knees bent feet flat if you want a less intense version so inhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Hold the breath and squeeze the roll. Exhale, both elbows to the left knee. Keep both shoulders lifted and pull the belly down. So we come back to center on the inhale, keeping a little squeeze of the roll and then exhale, elbows to the right. Keep the right shoulder lifted up as you pull the belly in. We inhale back to center again, little squeeze of the roll as you exhale to the left. Keep pulling low belly down. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll. Little squeeze of the sit bones. Exhale to the right, keep pulling belly in. Inhale back to center, head stays up. Hold the breath, squeeze, squeeze sit bones. Exhale, elbows to the left, keep pulling belly in. Inhale back, hold the breath, feet active. Squeeze the roll, squeeze sit bones. 
exhale elbows to right keep pulling low belly in inhale back to center this time exhale head down if you've got the feet up put the feet down take a breath in there empty on the exhale and take the right ankle over the left thigh reach and grab either the back of the left thigh or the top of the left shin it's so coming into back release pause so before we come into the hold maybe just rock your pelvis from side to side see if you can get a bit of a massage into the lower back there and then we're going to draw the left knee into the chest whilst pressing the right ankle into the leg so we just create that little bit of resistance Lower back might lift, that's okay. And start to slow the breath down if it's quickened. that side maybe put the feet down if you need to pause in between and then we're just going to transition to the other side just when you're ready so left ankle over the right thigh this time try and tuck the chin so the back of the neck is long and then you'll press the ankle into the thigh and the, the knee comes in Focus these last few breaths before Shavasana into really tending to your area. And then from there, release, draw the knees into the chest. Maybe even take the legs up straight as you draw the legs in for a final forward fold. Just one or two breaths. And then release from there into final rest. You, you can take your legs up the wall or maybe a bolster at the back of the knees, something like that. Now set yourself up so it's an intentional setup again. The chin is tucked, so the back of the neck is long. Both shoulder blades walk down your, your back away from the ears. Tailbone tucks, to lengthen out the lower back. And then if it's in reach, maybe your hands will, will touch onto the area you've been working with today. And start to feel for what your breath and awareness feels like in this place now. Just notice what's changing and shifting.
take the breath back. Bring a little movement there to the fingers and the toes. Perhaps a full body stretch. Just let yourself transition to one side slowly. Coming on up to seated in your time and just let the hands rest easy at the heart when you get there. Just feel for the quality of energy now that's moving through your tissues, like notice what feels different. And let this healing medicine work through your body through the rest of the day. And bow our heads with gratitude to the teachings and gratitude to our able bodies always. We bear with say namaste. Sorry about that sound thing guys, it's the flipping